Welcome, 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 If you don't know where that come from, who framed Roger Rabbit? He gets some to drink and he freaks out. And you go, there you go. <laughs> All right, Gump Report, I believe episode 14. The last one I believe is 13. I don't know. This could be 13. The other one could be 12. Or this could be 14. I don't know. You never know what you're going to get in the Gump Report. Please give me your comments. Give me some, give a, a subscribe. And if you can, throw a like down there because I'm never going to be seen unless there's a few likes on the video. And I don't like saying it. It really feels embarrassing to say I need likes so I can be seen. I'd rather just be seen. But since a lot of you are really, at least what few people are watching this, are enjoying the Gump Reports, I thought, well, if you really like it, Leave a like, and if you know some people that watch it, tell them to leave a like, and leave a like too. Maybe I'll be seen. I don't expect to get no money out of this. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm making this clear. Likes, I, I doubt I ever get money out of this. And to be honest, I'm not trying to look for any. If I did, like I said, I would be given a gift. I would be blessed. And I'll be thankful to you guys that you saw my show, you liked it enough that you told other people on Twitter or Facebook, I don't have no Twitter. And I do have a Facebook, but I'm not going to add it here because I don't need that type of stress. Like I said, I do have depression anxiety problems. I don't need it. And sorry for the noise in the back. The kids have come home. But if you do like it, tell a couple of people on Twitter. Take color t You never know what I'm going to get. <laughs> I'm so watchy. Okay, this is about Alexa Bliss and the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Look, if you saw WrestleMania Night 2, that was just about Alexa Bliss. I even said it in my video. Other people are angry that The Fiend is buried. And he's been buried a long time. Just Alex. I've seen his video when he did WrestleMania Night 2. He was disappointed. When he did Raw, he was disappointed. He's going like, I'm done. I'm done. I know people told me about this, but I'm done. I'm not done. I'm, I'm, I'm finished. But I really thought this, that, and the third. And I'm going, I'm looking at him and understand. I respect any wrestling reviewer who's been around. He, 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 I've been around since 2012. He's been around 10 years. So he started around, what, 2011? He's been doing it 10 years. I think 10 or 11 years. So for me, I do respect him. I don't always agree with him. But hearing him say that, I'm going like, dude, come on. It would have been just better to say, you know, you guys were right. And he tried to justify his belief that it would be better. That Bray Wyatt's getting over. We know. And I'm saying this for not only Alex. And anyone else who had the same thought. That they know The Fiend was buried at Hell in a Cell. Flat out, he was buried. Destroyed when he had to deal with Seth Rollins. We know this. We know he's been trying to get over. It's been almost five times. Five times retries, five repackagings, I, I believe it's five repackages he went through. 2014s, the 15s, the 16th, he's been repackaged about what? Five times almost. And now this should be the fifth time he's being repackaged. We know he can make it work. We know he's tried multiple times to be repackaged. They made him repackage because they didn't do anything with him. We known it. You guys have known it. Alex knew it. But he didn't want to come to terms that someone told him over and over again, you got to stop. You know this is wrong. He is done. Stop trying to justify saying that he's doing such great work in this. It don't matter. He has been buried. Now, I'm right. Five times or four. My guess is now five times he's been buried. And trying to repackage himself. So what do we get? This raw. He basically talks he's happy. He's got a weight off his back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's touching the, the he's touching everybody except for Abigail. Giving them the touch of God. Telling me I'm a new man. I am the greatest. I am the strongest. I am now free of my pain and suffering, my brothers and sisters. I'm free. I am free of everything. And then you see Alexa Bliss, wearing black, saying that she was lost. 
a little girl lost until she was found by the darkness, saved, protected, and nurtured. But now, why does it feel something's not right just because the darkness is gone? I know why. It's that I never needed the darkness. I've always been powerful. And I am stronger than the darkness. And now there's a Lily or Lilith, a little doll that has a mouth on it. I think it's 3D animated. This is what we got now. As I said in my WrestleMania review, night two, this was about Alexa Bliss. This was not about The Fiend. I knew from the very beginning, when you see Alexa, there was something going on. And then when you saw on top of the Jack in the Box with that look like black ink pouring all over her, I knew this was all about her. And now you see what the result is. She is now going to take the Fiend's stick and is going to run with it. And there have been reports, I think it's no DQ and Fightful.com. It was that Vince and Bruce changed it at the last minute because the Fiend was supposed to beat Randy Orton because Randy Orton wanted to take some vacation time off. But they changed it at the last minute and this was about Alexa Bliss taking the Fiend's stick and allowing her to run with it. And to be honest, this is what it comes down to. Do you love Alexa Bliss? There's a lot of people who adore Alexa Bliss. They think she's the most sexiest piece of ass that has ever existed, even though she's anorexic. I don't believe she's bulimic. She's, she has anorexia. And she has a very bad look of herself. Of course, she has work to try and improve herself, which I give her props. As I've always said, Anyone who goes in the ring, I always give you respect. And with this woman, she also had anorexia. It was very hard for her to try and stop herself from not hurting herself with anorexia. So she is basically a staple of what you can do if you work hard and try to believe in yourself. But her character has always been not very good. She had the Harley Quinn look. It went for a while, but then after a while she did the goddess thing and then she was really doing nothing and next to her ring work not being one of the best. Look, I'm not against Alexa Bliss when she comes to her ring work. She's not one of the best workers. Here you are. And this is for one of the subscribers. Well, I don't know if he's a subscriber. The guy who spoke about Billy Kay and left, I'm sure, a thumb down on me. One, as I said in my comment, did you read, did you hear the entire video? I may have said that she was should become a secretary, but I also said if she could not listen, and she needs to stop. And if she's not going to stop and get help to improve herself in some way, could have been dealing with Sean Spears and going back to training. She needs to stop, become a basically a manager, and she refused to do that. Become a secretary in the back because we don't want to see this woman hurt herself. That's what I said in my comment. Her ring work is so atrocious. Sooner or later, she's going to hurt somebody or worse herself. And I don't want to see that woman feeling guilty because she realized after the fact of the injury of the person that she was not taking care of herself. She was not doing her job right. Flat out, that's the deal. And this is Billy Kay right now, right here. This is Billy Kay. And I'm not being cruel to her. That's just how bad her ring work is. Sooner or later, she's going to hurt herself or worse, hurt someone else. It's going to happen if she doesn't stop. This is Alexa Bliss before the Fiend gimmick. She's just about here now. Does that mean her ring work has gotten better? To a certain extent, yes and no. Because she's more character driven. So she's tooled her ring work to go with her character, playing around, skipping around, letting those fake boobs bounce around, and everyone likes fake boobs or real boobs, doesn't matter. She's playing around in the ring more than she is wrestling in the ring, which honestly is the wisest thing to do. She's doing the right thing. She's using her character more in the ring than her real ring work. If you're not great at something, like Paulie always said, accentuate the positives, hide the negatives. And in her case, no matter how much anybody who loves Alexa Bliss is, she is not the greatest wrestler. She's sometimes okay to good. 
In most cases, she's under. This is standard. She either floats around here to here. That is Alexa Bliss. There's nothing wrong with that. There's not every wrestler supposed to be the best wrestler there is. You just got to compensate for it. In this case, Brutus the Barber BK wasn't one of the best wrestlers in the ring. He had a gimmick. He was a barber. If he beat you, he'd chip off your hair. He had the barber shop. He always had those segments. He compensated for his ring work with character development and character, the character training. Not character training. Character development and his driving his character to make him memorable. He was one of the people I loved as a kid. Alexa Bliss is doing that. She's making her ring work not the most apparent thing. She's making her character the most apparent thing. And yes, she can wrestle to a certain extent. She's not 100% trash. She's not at the level of a Billy Kay. And I really want people to understand, I don't hate Jennifer, Billy Kay. But I have to be an honest reviewer. Her ring work is so bad that sooner or later she's going to hurt someone. She's like a Nia Jax. Nia doesn't understand what she is doing in the ring most of the time and how many women in the last five years and one man has she hurt. Nobody wants to take that into account. Nobody wants to admit that Nia Jax can be dangerous. It isn't about being stiff. It is about being so sloppy that you literally are not noticing that you're hurting people. Being stiff is one thing. But being sloppy and someone getting hurt is very different. And here is Standard. Here is Alexa Bliss. This is best. This is Billy Kay at this moment. Well, here's Lois. Here is Billy Kay. This is Alexa Bliss. She's not really great. She's not way above like a Asuka or a Sasha Banks or a Bailey. Or even when Becky ever comes back and counts on how well she's going to be able to retrain herself. She's been gone for a while. She had a baby. She's going to have to retool her ring work because she's not the same. Look, I say this clearly. When Becky Lynch comes back, with no disrespect to any woman, her titty is going to be full of milk. And unless she's been not letting her baby drink her milk, her titties are going to be full of milk. And if those suckers are not bigger than, she was like maybe being near C, those suckers could be up to a C near C plus to a D, counting on how big her titties are. So it's going to count on, she's got to retool her entire move set to compensate for how her body has changed. Her hips are even more wider because of having a baby, because they spread. Her breasts will be full of milk if she's not basically breastfeeding. This is what you're going to get. So Alexa is not at the caliber of any of those women, but she doesn't have to be. She just has to be Alexa Bliss, the character, the new fiend. Now, this is what I was thinking about her. She's talking about, well, many people are talking about what is she going to do? Who is she going to be facing? Will she face Randy Orton or is she going to face the Fiend? Honestly, no. She's not going to go in the ring 100% all the time with either Randy Orton, who's going to go on vacation soon, or the Fiend. You know who I think she may be dealing with? She's going to have a partner. Lilith is kind of like Abigail, easily. But she's going to have her own partner. She's going to be a manager of somebody. It's obvious it's going to happen. And I do believe I know who it might be eventually. That's if they go there. And this is Dexter Loomis. Samuel Shaw on Impact Wrestling slash TNA. If you don't know who Samuel Shaw is, it's Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis is the most creepiest, freakiest motherfucker there is on NXT. And to be honest, other than carrying Cross, Dexter Loomis is... He's the most unique guy there. And since Dexter Loomis is by himself and Karrion Cross is with, um, I forgot her name. It's been so long for his wife. Um, oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot her name, but I'll probably remember in a minute. But when it comes down to it, he's without Scarlett Bardot. There you go. I can't believe it took me so long to remember. I'm sorry. It's age. I'm forgetting. But... Dexter Loomis is by himself, and it could be 100% the wisest thing to do if Vince considers this to bring up Dexter Loomis 
and team him with a, what, what do you think? Do you think this would work? I truly believe this is what's going to happen if it does happen. If, because this is still a theory. By the time of SummerSlam, you're going to have Alexa Bliss with her new stick doing all the crazy stuff she's been doing, probably messing with the women, but also messing with probably Bray Wyatt, but they won't have a match yet. My guess is by the time of SummerSlam, or just slightly before, she will want a match against The Fiend. If, if there's going to be a Fiend called Bray Wyatt, it may just be Bray Wyatt. He doesn't have the Fiend moniker anymore, it's just Bray Wyatt. And when they finally do have the SummerSlam match, you're going to have Samuel Shaw come out and save her and help her and basically use silence on a Bray Wyatt and he will be her new partner. That's what I think might happen. Maybe. Because there's no character anywhere in NXT, SmackDown, or Raw that even comes close to being good enough for Alexa Bliss but a Dexter Loomis. This could really work. Dexter Loomis being as creepy and as, and as motivating and controlling as he is would actually be the best person to stand by the side of an Alexa Bliss. And he could get over that way depending on how long they stay together. But this also means one thing and this is something you guys are going to have to come and take with a very big grain of salt, baby. You're going to have to have not a grain of salt, a cup of salt that you go, ah, I just love seeing people's tears. Here, here, fill this up with some, some more crying because I just love your tears. And go, ah, this is about Bray Wyatt basically doing absolutely nothing. He's going to do nothing. This is never going to be about Bray Wyatt anymore. Oh, of course, they may repackage him again by maybe next year. Because they got nothing else better for him to do. It's not like JoJo's going to come in and work with him. Maybe she might. But I doubt it. That She's taking care of their kid or kids. I don't know how many kids they've had together. But when it comes down to it, Bray Wyatt has only two choices. To eat shit and take the, like the taste of it. Because this is what Vince wanted. Or, depending on how much time he has left for his contract, make a request to stay home until the contract's done. Depending if he has enough money to stay home. He may still work, let the contract run out, and then leave. He might do that. Or, or, he may stay and just accept eating shit and doing nothing and liking the taste of it because that's what some of these wrestlers have been doing. Many of them have been working for years in wrestling and they know that they're being underutilized and they get frustrated. But at least they're getting a good paycheck which would be, in their eyes, much bigger then what they would get somewhere else, even though if AEW wasn't so overloaded, they could go there. But right now, honestly, the only other place they can go next to AEW would be Impact Wrestling. But Impact is not doing that well. It's not like they have a huge budget. You can go to NWA, but their budget's probably even less than that. So the only place they can go is AEW, which is now totally packed with people. Look at Miro. He's barely doing anything. Look at Brian Cage. He's barely doing anything. You're going to have more interest in Christian Cage than Brian Cage. But this is what I think will happen. Hopefully it all works out. But this is just my point of view. And I hope you enjoyed this Gump Report. Like, subscribe. I can't believe I'm saying this. Why am I doing this? I'm sorry, guys. I forget that. Just enjoy the video. I, I'm, I'm. I really would like this to be seen by others, just so I can get more comments and understand what people think. It's fun, but I just don't want to push it. I'm just not like everybody else who's gonna say like, subscribe. I need and and, and like JD. He's going like in the super chat. I need this to be at least. In 1,000 or 500 or 300 and Alex doing the same thing and I understand them. They're trying to get their brand out there. But I'm not like them. I mean, I, I want to be seen, but I don't want to push it. I'm just not that type of person that pushes. I'm just hoping this makes people happy and maybe I can help someone with it. And they feel like they, they have some confidence in something. This just me. Peace.